Hi, it's Laurie at Positive Thanks Living, and I'm been making busy making page tags, journaling spots, lots and lots, exercising my very old sewing machine, just having some fun, using up the pages that I used to practice my hand lettering on. And uh, yeah, I've been having fun, as you can see. <laughs> Collaging, I suppose that's, that's the word. Collaging. It started because I was doing Rachel at Roxy Creations page tuck, and I pulled out this old Reader's Digest book. And when I glued, or I pulled the the page out or I used it to glue something on then I was left with this area that was glued so I just folded it over and then I started looking at these and I thought okay what can I do with these and that's where the page journaling tag I don't know what are you going to call them came from and along the way, I've learned a few interesting things, and I thought I'd just show you quick. So that's where it began. I just pull it out, and it is glued together. I've been trying to create a relationship with glue stick. Yeah, still not my favorite. I still have to go over it with the uh, glue, the glitter, art glitter glue but that's okay. And then along the way, I someone had given me the suggestion of how to clean up the scraps on your floor. Our little grandchild comes every now and again, and I don't want to pull out the vacuum cleaner each time. So there's, there's scraps, you know, the little bits and pieces, like, ah, like this along the way. And so someone suggested just use this clothes scraper. It's sticky. And so I've been doing that, and that's worked out beautifully. And after I did it today, I looked at it, and I thought to myself, well, that's sticky. Hmm. So I just pulled off one sheet. I thought, OK, this is basically what you'd use as a um, masking tape. So it's kind of interesting on this side, and it's sticky on this side. What could I do with that? So what I ended up doing was I just put some extra pieces on top. I'll show you what I mean. Very simple. Stick it down. <laughs> you know. And obviously I, I did more square things that would go on. And then I used the tear ruler to tear things apart. So I found another way that I can put something interesting on these pages. And then I decided not to do two together because it would be too thick to go through my old sewing machine. But just a few layers like this helps. So just an idea if you want to explore, if you have one of these at home and just want to explore one of these sheets, try it. It's kind of fun. It, and, and the texture on this side is kind of cool too. So yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll show you how I started working through these. And with the glue stick, now none of this is new. Lots of you have done many versions of using up book pages because when we're working through things, we have a lot of book pages left. I appreciated Rachel's suggestion of using up book pages using a tuck because that turned out beautifully. I'll link to where that video, where I showed that, and her video where she demonstrated how to do it. So I started with something like this, and let's say put on some collage, some other paper on top to add some interest. This is painter's masking tape, paper, sorry, comes on a big roll. Very easy to uh, 
hair and fun to use because it's kind of opaque. You see? I'll try and stay in here. I have I have these two things up here so I know where to film. So I'm in in filming spot for everyone to see. So a little bit of paper. I have printed off Tracy Fox's Love Junk Journals grungy wallpaper. And I've enjoyed using them. One of my favorite ones that I did was this one, both because I like to have the lettering worked for enchanting, the word enchanting. I'm doing a hundred days of lettering, hopefully to get better over it. And I have all these sheets of tracing paper and I'm trying to find ways to use them up. Like this, so a hundred, I know, they're upside down, sorry. But I have all these words to use, so I'm trying to use them up a little bit at a time. So here is some, what color, I think, blue, no, green. So a little bit of Tracy's green up here. And I'm trying to get into the habit of using this tear ruler. And yeah, sort of, sometimes I use it and sometimes I don't. here yeah it's collaging and then sewing around the edges but it comes out really interesting as a page tuck or a it's very relaxing I've been doing it in front of the television all on the weekend <laughs> with many little pieces on the floor <laughs> Uh, my husband's very kind. He doesn't make comment. He's happy that if I'm happy. So here's where I was practicing the word cheerful. And by the way, I don't like doing C's. C's are hard. And then the longer words, I would <laughs> misspell them. Yeah, that wasn't good. This is what I do. I just use the tearing wheel on this tracing paper and I'm going to put it down somewhere so that it's on the page. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you to those that have subscribed. I'm thrilled to share this junk journaling adventure with you. It's fun to uh, connect in the different areas of mixed media and of, sorry, of social media. Fun to watch your mixed media adventures too on your channels if you also play with paper. So we have cheerful, the word now we need some kind of focal point. And let's see. I have this big bucket of papers over the years that I've, over the years, over the last year, which hasn't been very long, <laughs> that I've printed off. And so now I'm going back through and seeing what I can use in collaging. I've found on these cards it's better to use something that is uh, a lighter uh, weight. No, that color doesn't work. I think this one something from here straight down maybe let's try this and see what happens this is from the graphics fairy premium membership 
just an image that I printed off a while ago. Yeah, it's been about maybe a year and a half that I've been working with paper, playing with paper in this form. Collaging and uh, making junk journals and such. Okay, here's some one. Let's do another one on top there too. And especially through this time period, it's been an, a gift, a special thing to keep my hands and my mind occupied in a positive form. So, there we go. Let's just do these. I'm going to tear this a little bit and ink a wee bit too. The ink I'm using is Vintage Photo. And the copy paper is very light, very thin. Not a lot of substance to it, but as we add layers of all the different papers, the tag becomes fairly substantial. There, how's that? Yeah. All right, so as you can see, I have started gluing on here, but the page is sticky, so I don't want to put my new areas on it. And how I'm coming up with the tags is I just go like this. And I'm sure you've done this. So nothing new, just if you're interested. And for those of you that are beginning to junk journal, that's an idea. My husband, when he looked at me doing this on the weekend, he just marveled at the fact that I was using a book. Because books are very special to me over the years. And uh, printed word. However, when a book is falling apart, I don't feel badly about using it in this form. I feel as though I'm giving the paper, the words, a new life. So I explained that. He just chuckled at me, which is fine. <laughs> okay, so there. And then on the other side, I've been using this came, this paper came in a package with tea bags and it works out really well. It's, it's very light, but it fits on the page nicely. And it glues down very smoothly and you can write on it later. It's light enough to write on. another one that's got some glue on and I am using up the glue sticks very quickly but yeah I have a number in my drawer that I found our daughter she allowed her crafting things to come live at our house because she hasn't been doing crafting lately and she's fine if I just use up her stuff so every so often I go through her boxes or drawers that she's sent over. And so I found all this, these glue sticks in there. And she, she doesn't mind that I use it up, which I'm very thankful. Yeah, I haven't had a good relationship with glue sticks. When I glue, I'm not sure that it stays down and perhaps it's a case well chances are it's a good uh, chance that it's user error Let's put this 
down. See how flat it goes? It's really nice. But again, it adds to the substance of the tag. Give it a quick cut, like so. And a little bit of washi on this side. I've been putting a little bit of washi. Something plain. I've been using more plain washi as opposed to the ones with patterns on them. And these words, so I'm gonna have to link to where I found these words because I can't remember her name right now. But they're words uh, from different languages that are interesting, Elysian, beautiful or creative, divine, divinely inspired, peaceful and perfect. Um, they're kind of fun. A fun addition that I had printed out a while ago and hadn't used. So, yeah, I can use them on these tags. And because I sew around it, if I'm on, if I'm using the uh, glue stick, I know that it will catch in where I glued things down and so even if the glue is not as strong as what I would prefer the sewing around the edges will make a difference here I am using the glitter glue again because yeah I'm most comfortable with that all right and let's put a little bit of this on the back too. Yeah. So it began because Rachel was intriguing me with her uh, book page pocket tucks. And then I had to think what to do with these after I'd glued things on and of course to get rid of my practice pages use them up and get rid of is the wrong word but yeah, find a use for them as opposed to just sitting around I tried gluing it down to a larger card so this is a pack practice page that was onto a card and book page and a card I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, but something. Yeah, okay, so there we go. I'll sew around the edges, and then there will be more like these. I think I'm happy with the way they're turning out, and it was a fun weekend. So, it's Lori with Positive Thanks Living. I Thank you for joining me and I invite you to subscribe if you're interested. I'm going to try and make a video or two every week. Take care.